Okay, here we go then. I'm just going to put it right there if you don't mind. Okay, it is January 9th, 2010. I'm Barbara Blake, and I'm sitting here in the home of Mr. Primrose Jones in Harlow. So, Mr. Primrose, could we start off by you telling us what year you were born and what community you grew up in? Yeah. Uh, what year I was born? 1941. April the 14, 19. What it was? February? No, April. Oh, April 14. Okay. And what what community did you grow up in? Uh, Craven. Craven Corner. Craven Corner. Is that what you call this right here? Adams Creek. This is Adams Creek. Okay. All right. Um. So, could you tell me how you first got involved in the Menhaden industry? Oh uh, yeah. I went down with a boy called Lee. So I met fishing, you know. So he took me on and on that with him. So I left up there and went to the kitchen. What boat was that? Oh, I don't remember. Was it a little sound boat or was it one of the bigger boats? Bigger boat. Uh -huh. Do you remember what company? Uh, Standard Products. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I left from there, so they ordered me to go in the kitchen, so I went in the kitchen. And so that's where I ended up at. So that's what you, you got in there pretty early and then yeah. kept right on? Yeah, that's right. So how many years would you say about that you were a cook? Um, I mean, been a cook uh, quite a while. Uh, I say about about six or seven. About what? About six or seven years. Six or seven years. So, um, what year did you start? I ask you remember. <laughs> you chime in. All right, all right. All right, well, we'll, we'll go over that real quick. Do you remember um, about how old you were when you first got on a Menhaden boat? Oh, I just remember how You were a young man? Oh, yeah, I was young. Okay, and so you spent many years working on the shad boats before you were a cook? Yeah. Okay. Could you tell me some of the places that you fished in your life? I fished in Louisiana. Uh, Mississippi. Long Island, New York. New Jersey. That's it. Just about all the places oh, yeah. that there is to fish. Fishing Beaufort? Yeah, I'm fishing Beaufort. Beaufort. Yeah. Uh huh. So yeah. you must have fished with a lot of different captains, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So it was only in the last seven or eight years that you went cook? Yes, yes, ma'am. Okay. So tell me, what was the job of a cook on a Menhaden boat? What was the job? Mm -hmm. Oh, you had a, you know, when you want detail, you had to order the grocery and put it up, you know, you see, put, put all the stuff all, all up and get ready for breakfast, mornings, get ready for dinner, get ready for, for three meals a day. So. Huh? How many men did you feed? I feed, what, 16 head? 16 head of men. Yeah. That's a lot of grub. Yeah. Do you remember where you'd order the groceries from? Yeah. Oh, what, different stores? What, I mean, the store. Like in Beaufort. Yeah, 
Piggy Wee. Ah. Oh. So well, IG. IGA, so. Piggly Wiggly. So, did those store store grocery stores like having the um, business of oh, a shad yeah. boat? Oh, yeah. I bet they did. Yeah, I hold it. I never went on my truck. Oh, you would go pick it up at the oh, store? Yeah. yeah. So, like, on the average, how many, say, how many dozens of eggs would you buy? Oh, yeah. About, about seven, eight. Seven or eight dozen. Yeah. And would that be for for two or three days? No, it's for a whole week. For a whole week. My elbow might run out. That we Friday come, but I say I order a little bit more every every week. That they were week basic. Mhm. Mm so. And so, did they have a tab where you could just sign off? Oh, take yeah. the groceries? Yeah. And the companies would pay the bill. Right. Okay. Right. Did the men have to pay for those groceries out of their check? Yeah. Yeah, they pay that in the check. Mm -hmm. So but so much come out in the check. Oh well we I don't know how much was it, but I know we took it out of the grub bill. Did you ever have a, a helper in the kitchen? Yeah. I mean, I had somebody help me put a brush on the boot. Uh-huh. Yes, yeah, so, Lord. Yeah, I can put all that brush on that boot by myself. Did you have anybody helping to do dishes? No. No. I, put, I, put, I wash my own dishes. Mm-hmm. Ports and pans. Prime pans, all that. I washed all that. And how did you plan your menu for a week? Oh, well. I laid, I just laid it out. I laid, laid it out that night. From the breakfast, from the dinner. So, supper, I had, had laid out. Like, see. I had dinner, so I had a pot of beans, well, so them hot biscuits and stuff like that, beans and pork chop, chicken, you know, like that. Yeah. Lots of coffee. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, pot of coffee every 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 every, every two at two hours. Every two hours, a yeah. pot of coffee. How about yeah. That? Oh no, we'll drink, drink a pot of coffee. What was some of the favorite meals that the boys, that the men liked? Oh, they liked all that, all that stuff. I bet they did. Like I said, they beans. They beans. love them beans. What kind of beans? Llama beans, uh, little baby llamas. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I cook black eyed peas. Mm -hmm. They love them beans, guys. Llama beans hard to beat. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And so what kind of, um, would, would, would dinner be the middle of the day? Would that be the biggest meal you cook? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. And so. so what kind of meats would you cook? Like chicken. Mm -hmm. Fried chicken? Fried chicken. So I have my pan of fried chicken there. I cook what about? About uh, six chicken, six or seven chicken. Wow. Yeah, I have fried up there, all nice and brown. That's the only meat you have? Well, yeah. You know, like dinner time? Yeah, I have beans and chicken. Biscuits. Yeah, I beat cake. Yeah, beat cake. Like I said, I too often I don't beat the cakes. But... Let's see, we have beans, chicken, we have some, uh... What other vegetables do you have? We have cabbage, carrots, greens? No, we have some, uh, some, some, uh, what's called, uh, peaches and stuff peaches? like that. Yeah. 
Yeah, we have bull peaches on the table, so. We will be prepared. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you ever have, like, stew beef? Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh -huh. I stew beef one week. We never ever did things, but like I said, we had stew beef. Like I said, we had chicken this week today. Stew beef next day. Uh, well, and like I said, we had steak and stuff like that. Did you? Yeah, chopped up steak. Mmm. Yeah, we had that small gravy turn. Uh, yeah, what? Small gravy turn. What is that? Gravy. 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 Oh, gravy, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we will get down now. Did you ever cook fish? Oh, yeah, yeah. What kind of fish did you cook? We cook on spots, you know, catch a few spots. You cook whatever happened to the, right. the guys with that yeah. With catch? Yeah. No, man, we catch, Al bring, bring the spots on there. Oh, he, he'd bring them on. Uh, yeah. Yeah. How about some shad roe? No. Oh, yeah, yeah, we had shad roe. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, well, we are, we up in the season where we have shed roof. Uh huh. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so. What kind of stove did you cook on? Was it diesel, diesel stove? Or? Uh, no, it was electric stove. Electric. Huh? Yeah. You always have electric stove. You do. Put your gas at one time. I know, but like I said, be last time I cooked was electric stove. So you cooked on the Coastal Mariner yeah. and the Gregory Pool. Yeah. Okay. Yes, uh, yes, ma'am. Was it hard to be a cook? No, it was, it was easy to me. Uh-huh. Like I said, I mean, I cooked the first meal and got the hangar, so everybody liked it, so the best they did. You were probably the most popular man on the boat. Right then it was. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so. Did the cook ever have to steer the boat when they were making a set? No, man. No, sir. No. No. Huh? No. No, I'm going to do that. Right. Cool. So, did you ever um, feel like. Did you ever get caught in a storm out there? Yes, ma'am. I don't know what year it was, but we, we got caught in a storm. What happened? Well, we ran ashore. Went through the cut. You know, took, took, met, come on the outside and come, come through the cut. So, we survived. Was that um, Beaufort Inlet or Oregon Inlet? I don't know. Yeah. Cause I remember Al talking about, he was talking about a real bad storm. Yeah. And I think he was saying Oregon Inlet. Yeah, it might all be. Yeah. yeah. That's a bad inlet any time, isn't it? Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, so the was it a good career to to spend your life working on a on a Menhaden boat? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What did you like about it best? The money. Uh -huh. Did a cook get a good share? Yeah, he get more than the, the crew of men do. Really? Yeah. It's not bad then. No, well, I was next to the chief on the on that. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Next to the chief engineer? Yeah. So it's captain, first mate, pilot? Right. And then chief engineer? Right. And then cook? Right. Okay. And then cook. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. I've been hanging in there. Did the men ever get mad at you about the food? No, no, Lord. <laughs> no, they don't get me. <laughs> they were always happy? Oh, yeah. Yes, Lord. Did the men ever want to get on a boat because they heard the cook was good? Okay, I can't. I can't say that. Cause, <laughs> because I heard that sometimes a cook was bad and the men wouldn't want to fish on that boat. Oh no, no, I ain't never been. I ain't never been it be. Yeah, well, apparently you were a good cook. <laughs>
Do you, um, when you got off the boat, did you cook at home? Yes, ma'am. Do you still cook? Not right now. Yeah. <laughs> no, I ain't cooking. I ain't cooked so far. I cooked breakfast some mornings like that. Yeah, when you can get up and about. Yeah. Was your um, father in the Manhattan industry? No, ma'am. What did he do? He farmed. Oh, he did? Yeah. Where did he farm at? Oh, on uh, oh, up there. Uh, Long Creek. Uh-huh. Adams Creek. Yeah, he always farm. Did he have his own farm? No, he ran it. No, he ran his farm. Huh. He was a... Was he a share, share cropping or, or did he just pay... Did he have to share the crop, or did he just pay a rent? Oh, uh, yeah, pay a rent. Huh. And like I said, he was the best man I ever seen yeah. about raising tobacco. Is that right? Yes, my lord. I bet you pulled many a tobacco oh, plant yes. then. Oh, yes. Yes, I did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I plowed a mini mule there. A mini mule. They yeah. didn't have all the big machines back then, did they? No. That old machine there. Yeah. Were you glad to to switch from tobacco to fishing? Well, I want got old. I want to try fish. Mm -hmm. So, boy, it's about going setting rings for him on the boat. Setting rings. Uh -huh. Yes, ma'am. And so, I led from there to 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 the kitchen. Okay. Sot rain won't back about two years, two or three years. So Can you tell me any of the other captains that you fished for besides Al? Yeah. Let's see. Whoa. I can't think of the name. Harold Hunter. Harold Hunter? Yeah. Uh what 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 came in Virginia name? Yeah, Hal Hunter, Al Dudley, Lester Frazier. Uh, Lester Frazier? Yeah. He was a captain of a boat? Yeah. Was he from around here? Yeah. Was he? Yeah. What, what boat did he captain? Uh, Ed Lewis, I think. Yeah, Ed Lewis. The what? Ed Lewis. L. Lewis? Ellett Lewis. Ellett Lewis. What company was that for? Was that for a Harvey Smith? Standard Products. Standard Products. How about that? Yeah. Is he still alive? Mm -hmm. He is? Yeah. He still lives up here? Mm -hmm. Let's see. I knew it was no cat my fish read. I can't think of the name. You ever know I kept my fish rip? Yeah. Right. Well, is there anything else you'd like to add about your your work on the pokey boat? The only thing about it, you know, I like, you know, when I'm fishing. And like I said, you get a little age on you. They want to dump you. They want to dump you. <laughs> and like I said, <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't about 68 years old, but like I said, I ain't moved. Like I said, I had a problem with my leg, you know? Yeah. I had a block in my leg. Oh, uh-huh. Yeah. What, did you quit fishing um, when Beaufort Fisheries closed down? No, ma'am. Oh, you went up to Virginia after that? Yeah. So you only recently got off the boat. Yeah, I just got last year. Just last year? Oh. And yeah. you had to because of your leg? Yeah. Yeah. 68 years old. Yeah. Well, let's say you did pretty well. Yeah, so. Yep, I ain't been hanging in there. Okay. All right, well, I appreciate you taking the time with me today. Okay. All right. Thank you.